Navigating the control. Turn on the main power to the unit. The first time the unit is powered on from the factory, a setup wizard will appear. The setup wizard will walk the installer through the most commonly required parameters. For more information regarding the setup wizard, refer to the video, Programming the Setup Wizard. Once the setup wizard has been programmed or has been canceled, the home screen will appear. The control uses a multi-line LCD screen to display unit information and operational icons. The top line of the screen shows the current unit's status. This line will always be visible. The next five lines of the screen will display information from the various inputs and outputs, or adjustable parameters of the control. What is displayed depends on the screen you're on. You can use the up and down arrow buttons to scroll through the various screens. To view and adjust control parameters, press either the left or right arrow buttons. For more information regarding adjustable parameters, refer to the videos How to Adjust User Level Parameters and How to Adjust Installer Level Parameters. The bottom line of the screen will display operational icons. If there is an active call for heat or if the unit has been placed in service mode, if the unit has experienced a fault that creates a lockout condition, a description of the lockout will be displayed. The control will record the 10 most current faults by date and time. The fault list may be viewed by accessing the installer parameters. Once the lockout condition has been corrected, the control may be reset by pressing the reset button on the display. After programming the control with the desired operational parameters, the unit will now be ready to accept a heat demand.